So I've started to do a lot more YouTube shorts and I use my phone for that. The problem is I don't really have a stand that holds my phone vertically. So what I've been using is a paint sample can and occasionally if I don't set it up right, the top of that paint will get in the bottom of the frame here. It's also really wobbly and it can fall backwards and break very, very easily. And you can see here, like it's not set up perfectly so you can see the top of that just in there. And I mean, it's, it's on a hair trigger there. So I need something that I can uh, design and print out that's going to make this one stay up and down straight and also not be uh, wiggly. All right, so we're gonna design this thing to be 3D printable, super easy, nothing big deal. We're gonna start off with a sketch. I'm gonna go to top view and rotate over, hit G for a rectangle, and I'm just setting up a dummy one, which is gonna be the size of the actual phone with the case on there. Uh, so that's there. I'm gonna add on, so it's 4.2. I'm gonna add on 0 0.05 inches just to make it a little bigger, and then 3.05. Again, just to add a little wiggle room because the print may or may not shrink. There may be some other issues with it. So I wanna just kind of deal with that as is. Uh, our next tool I think we're gonna do is an offset tool so we have consistent walls around there. Um, or we can just draw another rectangle and dimension it. Neither one matters all that much, but we're gonna to go to offset and we'll click on these items. And then we'll just drag that to the outside, hit enter, and then we can put that on. And I'm just gonna make that an eighth of an inch. This does not need to be anything super structural. It's nothing too big a deal. Uh, and then we're going to extrude just that part. And let's say that goes up, I don't know, a half inch. I, I don't want this to be super wiggly. Uh, so maybe it'll go up. Now, let's make it go up like two and a half inches. So 2.5. We got that. And then what we're going to do is go into the sketch in the middle here. And we're going to remove a big chunk. Um, because we want to be able to hit the button and all that stuff. So we're going to dimension all of this around. Uh, let's say we want a half inch there a half inch there, and then I guess we'll do a half inch from the bottom, I don't know. How's that look? All right, then we'll go to extrude, select that, remove, and distance through all. All right, so that's where the slot should go. Um, we're gonna have to put a base on this in some way, shape, or form, but I'm okay with the general idea of this setup here. Uh, we are gonna add some fillets to the outside and probably do them around all of these surfaces as well. As long as we don't error it out, we'll be fine. Okay, that looks good. And then we'll do it to those surfaces. And what about the top? There we go, okay. I'm cool with that. I don't know if I wanna do anything to the inside, so I'm gonna leave that as is for now. We can always come back and adjust that later. Uh, the next thing we need to do is I think I want to add a little, we need to add some feet coming out here uh, to add some weight to the base, for lack of a better term. So I'm going to go over here, and again, this is not supposed to be an elegant design. This is just going to be something quick and dirty. So we're going to come out like that. It's going to connect up here, go across, and then connect back down. We're going to set all of these equal to each other. Dimension on this is, let's say, I don't know, two inches, that sounds reasonable, and from here to there, we'll set the height of one inch. Uh, so we're gonna have a nice big foot coming off of that. Then I can extrude this part out, and that's only gonna have to go out. Like, let's say, a, that will be fine. All right, I'm actually gonna get rid of those fillets because I wanna put them back in, but do it slightly differently. So we'll come back and work on that. And we need to add that same idea to this other side here. So we'll go in there, boom, bring it up, over, and back down. E for equals, set those equal to each other. Dimension this, we said it was going to be two inches, and the height from here to there is one inch. Is that what I had before? We'll hit our check mark and just double check what we had for that one. Ow, you see what happened here? that wasn't stuck on that side. That's why that came in more than it needed to. All right, so I want those to be stuck on there. Dimension this here to there. It's gonna be one. There we go. And that looks better. We'll finish our sketch there. And then we can extrude this one, hopefully. One, two, three. Oops, not sketch, extrude. 
one, two, three, we'll do it a quarter inch. All right, and that should be more than enough to keep all of that going. So now we'll fill it, our surfaces, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we'll do the same with the top here as well. Just to make it easier to put in. And then we're gonna add some fillets, not onto that whole surface, but onto the inside here. And the fillets are gonna serve a couple purposes. One, they're gonna be a little bit stronger. Two, we'll make the print uh, easier to hold and slightly less uh, intense. And I think it's just gonna work out better overall. Whoops, not that one. Okay, we'll come back and work on that. So let's see, we got it there, there, there. Okay, and then we'll put another one in right there. And then we can go in with fill it again and try to add it onto these walls here. And will it, it's gonna freak out if we do those. Okay, we'll come back and look at that particular setup and figure out why it's doing that, but it's not the end of the world either way. Ooh. So we have that. Why are you freaking out when I do that? Interesting, okay. We'll just hit our green check for there and then we'll try adding more fillets and see what happens if it freaks out. See, it's okay doesn't like doing it in multiple steps okay so it doesn't like that one and then we can go in hopefully and add this one and it doesn't like that one <clears throat> which is okay uh, we can honestly get rid of all these fillets if we'd like and then maybe just try filleting just the surfaces so if we do that and let's say just uh, 30 second of an inch nope doesn't like that either okay I'm not too worried about uh, those, but I do want to get the fillets in here. So we're going to make that a rather large fillet just to add a little more strength there. And I think it will look nice. Got that. And then we're going to get a fillet and we're going to do an eighth of an inch. And I'm going to try to have it transition from here and see if it goes there. There we go. So on shape sometimes handles fill. It's a little funky in my opinion. I, I've used other drafting software that handles them a lot nicer, but this should fit and print just fine. Uh, so we're just gonna right click on this. We're gonna export it. Uh, it's gonna be an STL. We're gonna rename it as a vertical phone stand. It's gonna be a millimeter and resolution is fine. We'll export that. It's gonna go to my download. Then we'll open up Bamboo Studio. We're gonna go in, add a new file on here, which is our vertical phone stand. And you can see that that's all in there. It's, it's again, nothing really special at all. We'll slice that plate. And this thing is gonna take us about an hour using all of what we have there. Uh, again, I could make this thing a lot looser as far as infill and all that stuff, but that's there. We'll print the plate and then we should be good to go. Okay, so here's the completed print. Uh, it came out decent, I'm pretty happy with it. I probably am gonna make these a little wider in the future. Uh, it's not tippy without anything in there, but the vertical supports don't go up super high, so the kind of bounce away is gonna be higher than what this support is. Uh, but we have the phone here, all we're gonna do is drop it on in. You can see that is beautiful. Uh, it's a little wiggly, but I mean, it takes some actual effort to do that. And then I can set that up get it in place, and I still have full access to all the camera controls and all of that. Uh, so that's a super easy print. It came out well, it fits beautifully. There's a little wiggle in there, but nothing crazy. And I'm really happy with the outcome of that.